Hello, welcome back to PowerPoints. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the tools available in PowerPoint to control not just the amount of text that you use on each slide, but also the quality of text that we put on a slide. We want to set up a tool to avoid having too many bullet points per slide. We also want to put in effect a tool to prevent this disaster, inconsistency in text. It's your choice to write complete sentences for each bullet point or not. What is important is that you be consistent in your choice. Let me show you how we can put these tools into effect. We will start by going to Tools on the menu, choosing Options, and then on the Spelling and Style tab, selecting Style Options. Notice that there are two tabs over here, tabs for case and ending punctuation and for visual clarity. In case and punctuation, what matters to me is that we have consistency in our case and that we have consistency in body punctuation, in other words, with our bullet points. For visual clarity, I don't like to have any more than three fonts per slide. I also like to make sure that I have a text font that is large enough to be read. So for my uh, title case, I want to have 44 point, and for the body, I want to have a minimum of 36 points. I also am setting up a parameter not to exceed five bullet points and for each bullet point not to exceed two lines. All right, now that my controls are in place, let's enforce them. Over here on slide three, as you can see, I have six bullet points. What I want to look for now that I've set up my options is this light bulb. And the light bulb is giving me some choices. I can leave the six bullet points, but to make it readable, let's change the text for the bullet points to 36 point. Much better. Now notice that once I've made that change, if I click back on the light bulb, it's telling me I do have too many bullets. So what I could do is choose to split this into two slides. I could make a new slide for each point, ignore it, or change my options. Let's see what changing the slide into two slides results in. So here we have our first three bullet points and our next three set. That's a nice choice in there that we can do very easy. Let's take a look over here with inconsistency. Here my first bullet point is a complete sentence. My next is a phrase. The next is a run-on sentence. It's a mishmash. We want to avoid it. Let's see what options we have. Over here, I could add ending punctuation to each bullet point, or I could remove the ending punctuation. Let's do that. Of course, I'll want to go through and make some other editing choices in there. One other icon to look for, in this case I have more than six bullet points, is looking down here for my auto fit options. Let's take a look at what those options may be. Here I could change this into a two column layout and I, of course I would want to go and cut and copy and, and move some things over there or as I did before I could say split this into two different slides and now we've made that choice. So there you have a couple of points to remember. Use the tools options spelling and style. Use the visual clarity tab. Remember to look for your light bulb and click your auto fit options. There you have some great PowerPoints. I'll see you in the next lesson.